Hello there, I am Johnny Cool with more Pokemon Leaf Green Redo. In the last part, we finished up Mount Moon. We um, got the Helix Fossil from the super, super nerd named Miguel. And um, we made it to Saloon City. And we held up a Pokemon. I shut off the, um, someone's PC and the Steven's PC. I actually want to go in this building and then go outside the back. Because there's actually a hidden uh, item, which is actually a rare candy. So it's very worth picking up. It's right here, actually. So there we go. We found one rare candy. Awesome. So there's that. And now we're going to take on what lies north of Suwin City, and that includes our third rival battle. So I'm going to actually switch um, Triple Clef to, um, and switch to the Airbender, really. So yeah, let's take on a Matt again, yay. Look, there he is, right there, awesome. Yo, Steven, you're still struggling along back here. You're pro you're, the game's programming puts you ahead of me, always. Dang it. Oh well, okay, it's I'm doing great. I caught a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon. Here, let me see what you caught, Steven. Okay. Strong and smart Pokemon, huh? Like, we'll see about that. Okay, here's a Pidgeotto. Okay, I have a Pidgeotto too. Mine's two levels ahead of yours. Sucker. <laughs> it's awesome. So let's, just, let's use Gust on it. Let's gonna use Gust on it. Yeah. There we go. Let's get Quick Attack. Okay. Let's beat it with its own Quick Attack. Yay. Gust, okay. Cool. There we go. Let's take out the Pidgeotto. There we go. So now Pidgeotto, uh, Bender's now level 20. Yay, nice. Been trying to learn Whirlwind. I will not let you learn Whirlwind, honestly. No. <laughs> okay. Rata. Let's, um, switch over to Giant Green. Choose Vine Whip on this thing. One more Vine Whip should do it. It's gonna use Tail Whip to lower Giant Green's defense stat by one. But yeah, I'll get some quick attack, okay. Just get a free attack in before it faints, basically. <laughs> okay. So I took it out, nice. Okay, Charmander. Let's switch over to Airbender again. Now the thing with this Charmander is it's level 18, but it hasn't evolved into Charmeleon yet. Jeez. Ember, okay. Let's guess again. Let's guess Ember again, okay. No, it's God, dang it, whatever. Fine, we just go to Green Giant then. Let's tackle this thing. Is Ember on green giant, giant green? I mean, there we go. It's fainted. Let's get Abra. Now, this Abra is level 16. It should be a Kadabra, but it's not. And it only knows teleport. And you can't use teleport. In, well, you can use teleport in training battle, but it'll fail. So, this is like free experience right here. As long as your Pokemon has an attacking move, basically, it will work and stuff. And it's nice. Let's organize these moves real quick. Choose um, Mega Punch. Let's get teleport, but it failed. Yeah. And only no teleport, so again, free experience here. Choose one more Mega Punch. There we go, nice. Awesome. There we go, nice. Play here to feed revival map. Hey, take it easy, you won already. Thanks for the $2.88, man. Hey, guess what? I went to Bill's and got him to show me some of his rare Pokemon. That added a lot of pages to my Pokedex. After all, Bill's, Bill's world famous as a Pokemaniac. He invented the Pokemon P uh, storage system on PC too. Since you're using a system, you should go thank him. Well, I better get rolling. Smell you later. Don't smell me, Matt. Jeez. As I told you before, I don't like you smelling me. Oh, yeah, right. I feel sorry for you. No, really, I really. You're always plotting behind me. So here, I'll give you a little present as a favor. Playing the fame checker, cool. I play in the key arms pocket. A chatty gossip like you, that thing's perfect. I don't need it because I don't give a hoot about others. That's not very nice, actually. Alright, uh, this time I really am gone. Smell ya. Whatever, man. Let's go to the Pokemon Center in here, actually. So I'll be right back. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so now we can head up to, um, north of, um, Sewing City again. 
I'm gonna put, um, we switched up a cliff and airbender though. Nice, okay. Let's take on Nugget Bridge, yay. So we're getting close to the, doing the Nugget Glitch, by the way, too. Here's a bug catcher. People call me call this the Nugget Bridge. Beat five us five trainers and win a fabulous prize. Thanks. Think you got what it takes? Of course I do. I'm very confident. We're gonna get that nugget. And plenty more of that afterwards too. Which I'll explain later actually in this part. But get your kale. Stuck out of P okay, well, this one's level ten. Cool. Jeez, um make a punch on this thing. Just tackle on us. There we go, one hit KO, nice. Trovacuff's in the level 14, yay. Weedle, okay, let's stay in. Yeah, switch that actually, switch those two moves, okay, make a punch again. Use Poison Sting on us. There we go, let's take, think, oh, let's hope that this is a one hit KO. There we go, nice. Metapod, okay. And I think the last Pokemon he'll have is a Kuna, actually. If I were to guess, that's just my guessing. That's just my um, prediction, I guess you could say. Okay, we'll, we'll take two Mega Punches to defend this, but that's okay. A mega Punch has like 85% accuracy, 80 ac 85 accuracy, and um. Mega Kick I think has like 70 to 75 accuracy, but Mega Kick is more powerful, but has like less PP, it only has 5 PP I believe, and Mega Punch has 20, so keep that in mind actually. When you're teaching, when you're getting those moves from the tutors and stuff, yeah, it's 5 PP compared to 20, but it's more powerful, but less accurate. Accurate, yeah. Cool. It's gonna just harden, okay. Cool. Just pound on this thing. There we go. Nice. Awesome. We have a bucket catcher kale. Nice. Woo, good stuff. So we got one, uh, $120 pocket dollars. We get, thanks for the dollar 20 cents, man. Let's take on this last next. Cool. I'm second. Now it's serious. It was serious with the first battle. Jeez. You're saying it's now it's serious. Kind of making bucket catcher kale a little, um, f make him feel bad, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna try Mega Kick, but it might miss. I just wanna feel. I'm feeling confident. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. Nice. Pidgey, the Pidgey is fainted when it KO. Nice. Triple Cost in the level 15. Yay. Okay, Oddish. Okay. So you go back to using Mega Punch now. There we go. One more Mega Punch should do it. Here we go, this Oddish is gonna go down. Nice. Bell Sprout, okay. Cool. Mega Punch on this thing. Here's Vine Whip on us. Okay, let's just pound then. Last alley, okay, how could I lose? Just because I'm I was victorious, I guess, and had the stronger attacks and everything, I guess why not? Okay, thanks for the dollar for twenty ninety two cents. Okay, here's a youngster. Here's num here's number three. I won't be easy. Okay, let's take you on then. Okay, youngster Timmy would like the battle. Okay, cool. Sand shrew. Okay. I'm gonna try and make a kick on this thing, but I could I don't know. Could not be successful. But yeah, it's successful. Nice. Could just make a punch on this thing then. Oh, cute charm. Yay. Let's use pound to finish it off, hopefully. It should finish it off. Just sand attack. Okay. It wasn't immobilized by love. Dang it. Ah, oh, pound miss. Dang it. We use defense curl, okay. Interesting. It raised its defense stat by one. But there goes the sand shrew. Now Trimbacuff is level 16. Awesome. 
I'm just to me about these Ekans. We'll see if we can change Pokemon. Um, sure, I will. Well, no, I'll stay in, actually. I'm feeling like Trouble Cliff can finish the job here. It's gonna intimidate, though. Cut its attack. Dang it. Well, use Mega Punch then. It's gonna use Weird or Trouble Cliff's defense stat by one. Okay. Mega Punch hits, it does about half, so that's pretty cool. It's gonna lower Triple Cuff's defense against his defense, her defense stat by one. So now it's lowered by two actually. So, yeah. But that goes that good, nice. Play defeat Youngster Timmy. Oh, Stomped Flat. I will stop Flat, okay. Thanks for the $2.24 cents, man. Here's another last. I'm in a four getting tired. Well, yeah, honestly, Trouble Cuff is getting a little tired. You're the male. Okay. Let's see if we can use uh, Mega Punch on this thing and it'll hit. It's gonna use Peck on us. Okay. Um, oh man, Mega Punch missed. Double Kick. Oh no, that's Fighting type. Ah. Okay, yeah, Trouble Cuff's gonna have to go going down. Dang it. Sorry, Trouble Cliff. Okay, let's go to Giant Green then. Tackle attack. It's gonna use the on us, lower Giant Green's defense stat by one. It's pretty cool, I guess, for you, I guess. It's not really cool for us because you lowered his stats a little bit, his defense stat by one. Man. Okay, but the Neverland Mail is gonna go down though. Quick, quick, awesome. That's even better. And now Giant Green's in the level 20, awesome. Neuter and uh, female, I'll stay in with Giant Green. Just tackle on this thing. Just tail up to lower Giant Green's defense by one. Jeez, all about the one that defense, huh? That's pretty cool, I guess, for you. Double kick, yeah. It's not very effective though. One more tackle should do it. Again, you lower into defense by one stat. And then tackle hits. Awesome. Nice. I lost too. Thanks for the $2.56. I really appreciate it. And here is the last trainer. Okay, I'm number five. No, I'm number five. I'll stomp you. I think he has a Mankey level 18. This is a camper guy, by the way. This is Campu Ethan. He has a Mankey level 18, I believe. There we go. That's right. Cool. Let's take him on. Let's use Fine Whip, I guess. You're gonna use Weir. You guys are always about low in defenses, huh? Defense st stats. Yeah, okay. Well, another Vine Whip should faint this Mankey, so this battle is over, honestly. Good, quite awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. There we go. We defeated Camp Ethan. Whoa, too much. Thanks for three dollars and sixty cents, man. Okay, I'm gonna actually go back to the Pokemon Center and heal. And I'm actually gonna just deposit everyone but Moneymaker, and I'll explain why when I come back. Okay, so I only have Moneymaker, and Moneymaker only knows Splash. So I'm gonna explain the Nugget glitch to you guys. You wanna sell like all your you want to use all your money really, so like right now I have um, 6,326 Poké Dollars, so go, go um, crazy at the Pokémart, really. Because this is the Nugget Glitch, and I love doing this. I did in Pokémon Fire Red, and it was really cool. I got max money and stuff. Really nice. I'm going to sell some Star Pieces on the Tiny Mushroom. Tiny Mushroom, let's sell that. And Star Piece, let's sell that. Okay, cool. Okay, bye. Let's buy a couple more Pokeballs, but I mean like probably six or something. Super potions, let's buy five, I guess. Potions, let's buy two more. And antidotes, let's buy one more, I guess. Pearl seals, let's buy two more. Awakenings, let's buy one. Escape ropes, it's by one. And repels, 13, I guess, yeah. And it's by 
Another awakening, I guess. So now I have 75, 76 pocket dollars, yeah. So that's pretty cool. You wanna sell like almost all your money, really. So that's good. Let's organize my bag here for a second. Let's put sick potions over the top like that. And repels. Go like that. Awakenings. Can go like right here. That's good, okay. So now that you have just Money Maker, you want to buy the Magikarp actually before Mount Moon for 500 Poké Dollars. Now that you have um just you know Magikarp right here, I only know Splash. That means that when you face this guy up here, which is actually Team Rocket Grunt, he will um keep on battling you, um and give you nuggets as long as you lose the battle. So if you have a Magikarp that only knows Splash, there's no possible way you could win this battle. That's actually good, you want to lose on purpose. So let's talk to him, yeah. Congratulations, you beat our five contest trainers. You just earned a fabulous prize. Still, we receive a nugget from the mystery trainer. Yeah. By the way, how would you like to join Team Rocket? We're a group of professional criminals specializing in Pokemon. Want to join? Are you sure? Come on, join us. I'm telling you to join. Okay, you need convincing. Uh, I'll make an offer you can't refuse. Okay. Let's play Battle Us, which is pretty cool. Team Rocket going like the battle. It's on Ekans. So yeah, the, I think the fastest way for this for your Magic Carpet to faint is if it uses Bite. But I'm um, just keep on using Splash. It's gonna use Wrap on us. It outspeeds us, of course, because it's ten levels ahead of us. And don't really try to tr level up your um Magic Carpet. I'm also gonna use it for your team. But like for this, you want to keep it at level five, just because. You want to you want to make sure it doesn't even want to tackle level 15. So yeah, just keep on splashing around, and there's like no way you can win this fight, which is actually good because this nugget glitch is actually really cool. It'll give you max money. Well, you have to get them as you can get as many nuggets as you want. It just you have to get them one at a time. And like we we um we lost. We um we uh, we ran out of unable Pokemon to battle or something. We uh, Pokemon are unable to battle and we lost. We um, paid $76 in money, and we whited out, okay. I whited out, for that matter. Steven scared the Pokemon Center, protecting the exhausted and fainted Pokemon from further harm. First, we should restore your Pokemon to full health. Okay. Your Pokemon have been uh, healed to perfect health, we have to excel. Okay. So, um, we did get a Nugget after that, so that's pretty cool. So that's, yeah. I'm going to show the, the thing again real quick before I end the part. Because off screen, I'm going to be getting 255 nuggets off screen. So, yeah. Because I want, like, max money. And that will give me max money, definitely. And I'll, and I think 200 nuggets will give you max money. So I'll have 55 nuggets left over. And I like having 255, I guess. Because it reminds me of, like, you know, the NES having, like, in Pokemon. Not in Pokemon, but in, like, Legend of Zelda. That you can only have 255 rupees. So, uh, 255 is a good number. Because, again, 200 nuggets give you max money. And then, um, you know, um, 55 nuggets left over. That's pretty good. So I have, like, plenty of nuggets left over, too, for, like, when I ever use, I basically use my money basically at the Celadon game corner, just buying coins to get like items and uh, Pokemon and uh, TMs really. So yeah, congratulations to beat our five contest trainers. He says the same thing. So yeah, he gives us a nugget. He gives us another nugget, which is awesome. And we can keep on repeating this process as many times as you want. The downside is you have to do it. You have to get. You only get one nugget at a time. So you have to keep on like battling him and losing to him on purpose, but I'll keep on giving you nuggets, which is really nice actually. It's a cool nugget glitch. This nugget glitch does not work in red, blue, and yellow. It only works in Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green. So keep that in mind. If you're doing this in Pokemon Yellow or P Pokemon Blue or Pokemon Red, just know that it won't work. You actually just if you lose to him, um, then he'll just let you let you buy actually in Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. But in Pokemon Fire and Leaf Green, he'll keep on giving you nuggets and keep on battling as long as you keep on losing them on purpose. And again, the fastest way for this Ekans to faint your Magikarp in this case is using Bite. So, I guess, you know, if you, you kind of want him to use Bite because, like, you don't want these battles to, like, uh, take too long because, again, you're getting these nuggets one at a time and it's a long process, honestly. So keep that in mind. But other than that, you know, there's no possible way you could win this battle with a Magikarp at level 5 that only no Splash. And it's the only Pokemon in your party too, by the way. So this is why this Magikarp, in my case, is named, is nicknamed Moneymaker, because it gives me, it, it helps me get a lot of nuggets, which I can sell to get a lot of money. 
So yeah. So this, yeah, that could still take um, Money Maker down again, I guess. Yeah, okay. We white out again, but like again, this is why you want to use all your money, as much money as you can, spend it all with the Mart. It's because once you white out, like with you know zero dollars, I mean you won't be paying any money to him really actually for losing. So yeah, so that's why we want to use all your money because you're gonna get the money back from selling those nuggets that you're gonna get, which is awesome. And said the first we should show you Pokemon for health, like she said before. The nurse said before the Pokemon said we big sell. So yeah. So other than that, I mean on the part right here. So off screen again, I will get 255 nuggets, and I only I need to get 253 nuggets actually because I already have two. So yeah, so this has been the end of my Pokemon Leaf Green Redo Walk the Guy part. Next part will take on what lies past Nugget Bridge and we'll also defeat the Team Rocket Grunt with our actual team, you know? After we get a total of 255 Nuggets. We can also sell our Nuggets too in the, in the next part too to get max money and be rich. Awesome. So yeah, so this has been Janko again. I like the you again. Goodbye. And I hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Leaf Green Redo Walkthrough Guide.